Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel, you know, yesterday with the free crystal, which, by the way, had two things wrong with it. One, it was the old drop rates, like the really, really, really old drop rates that, I mean, I know it's still a free crystal, so it might feel weird to complain about, but there's a big difference between having a drop rate of a 4.5%, uh, for example, for a 6-star, and like 1%, and a 5-star of 24% versus 14%. Anyhow, um, that was a problem, and that also led a lot of you, of course, to message me, hey, Prof, I got a free 3-star, yay. But uh, the other thing is that the overseer, for so many people, and maybe it was me too, I didn't spend the time to look because I didn't want the video to be 10 minutes long, was not the overseer. The overseer was void. You got a void crystal instead of an overseer, which if you get the wrong crystal, something tells me that compensation should be implied. It's probably not gonna be though, because it's a free crystal anyway. But anyhow, I said in the video that some people are gonna get really lucky, and even with the wrong drop rates, the old drop rates, and the wrong uh, champion crystal, we still had people who got, well, really lucky. Mikey V, it's a perfect example of this. The Dragon Man Crystal, which was actually Dragon Man. He landed the featured champion, a.k.a. Dragon Man. You can see six-star Dragon Man from their future foundation crystal in the General Alliance Information tab. Mikey V, congratulations. Thanks for passing this on to the channel. Now, Dark Minion got himself a free six-star Nexus. Can you imagine? Free six-star Nexus. Now, of course... A six-star Nexus does not guarantee that there will be three good champions in it, but it does guarantee that you'll have a much better experience with this free crystal than most people. And in this case, he didn't show me what the other two options were, but he did say he got a free six-star Apocalypse. Free! That's crazy. Man. Statistically speaking, this happens every single time, and it happened again. Let's move on, huh? John Toronto looks like he had already used a very, very precious Awakening Gym, hopefully class-based and not generic, on his Professor X, only two for the first time. Awaken him, dupe him, naturally, even though he was already awakened, so technically would have awakened him, in the Free Crystal. Lord wonders, was this the Awakening Gym that he opened from the Abyss? Was this an Awakening Gym that he got from... Something like the spring cleaning event? I don't know. But regardless, had he just known that he could have waited until August 23rd, 2021 with the free crystal event, he would have duped him anyway. And uh, there you go. There's the overall boom, apocalypse, then awakened six-star Professor X. Anonymous, which is quite ironic, he didn't put his name on his paper. Again, people just don't listen. Another six-star Nexus sighting. Now, this guy actually took the time not only to show that, but to show us the three options. This is where it gets interesting. What would you do? It's a really interesting Nexus. You've got a Puzzle Piece champion in Void, and then two solid Cosmic Champions, the New Vision, and the buffed, though I still don't know anyone that uses him on a daily basis, King Group. I would have gone with the Puzzle Piece Champion, knowing that eventually I would definitely use my 6-star Void. But he avoided, literally, that thought, because instead he chose Vision. And if you're thinking, oh, he probably punked you, Prof. He didn't really choose Vision Arcus. Yeah, he did. Uh, also, it's worth noting that several of you have told me that he is the most underrated and, dare I say, underappreciated champion that I talk about of any champion. And that I should put him in the God tier to beyond God tier category automatically. And my first thought is, that's fascinating. I should think more about that. And I also think, let's let the comment section debate that. Would you do that, comment section? Would you put him in the God tier, beyond God tier? I don't know. Now, uh, speaking of Six Star Nexus, we are not done. The Duke 87 also got a free Six Star Nexus. And in this... Well, the excitement kind of went down. Normally, this would be amongst the ugliest six-star nexus you can get. 
and one of those that was in the good, the bad, the ugly compilation for, say, the Summer of Pain Nexus Rewards. Really painful, but, keyword but, in this case, it's a free Nexus, so can't complain. I guess I would have gone with OG Daredevil for the arena points, but either way, I would have been disappointed that when I get a six-star Nexus, this is what I get. He didn't say who he got, by the way. And then, uh, Leon's brother hit me up. He's level 32. Didn't get the free Cavalier. Instead got the free Grandmaster, thinking he was going for the Overseer, but he was given the Void Crystal instead. And got the big, the best uh, prize you can get from that Crystal. Pulled a 5-star Void. So, congrats, Leon, at level 32. That's pretty cool. It's also ironic that the same video that we're talking about uh, a guy who passed up on a 6-star Void in a Nexus, you got a accidental 5-star Void from a Grandmaster. So there you have it, YouTube. The best luck sent to me yesterday from the Free Crystals. Congratulations. So exciting. Uh, I know most people got free 3-stars, and it was kind of weird to have the old drop rates and the wrong Overseer Crystal for some people, but at least it's a free Crystal, right? Hey, Legend Celebration. Have a great one, Legends. Literally. Thanks for watching.